Our dream couch just arrived. It is so comfortable. This is unbelievable. Oh my god, I'm actually obsessed. Oh my god, now we can get to decorating and everything. Oh my god, this has been a long oh wait. So we are currently furniture shopping for a lot of things right now. I'm with Joel. Madison, Brittany, and I'm just like not loving the coffee tables here at Ikea. So I think we're gonna go to other like home decor places because I just like I'm not loving the ones here. But we also need to pick up a bed frame. So we're definitely gonna hopefully do that today. But we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. I wanted to come to Ikea first though because obviously everything is cheaper here just to see and then we could spend more money on like cool pieces, you know? Okay, so we just found this rug and I'm not exactly sure how the fit is going to be but I think it'll work and I really love like the beige tone. Are you sure that's it though? Like positive? I don't want to come home with the wrong rug. I mean, it says angles. Well, so there's that in comparison to and then there's more here, but I think these are smaller. Are these smaller? Maybe. I don't know, I like that one the best. That one is just that so That one looks nice. way better anyway, it's more sandy. Yeah, and we saw one like, like this. One. Yeah, we saw one like this the other day, and it was $400 at Urban Barn. And it was like really like familiar, really, um, similar, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it is very nice. Okay. And this one's 230, so it's a little bit cheaper. So since my first mirror broke, we were kind of thinking of getting a gold mirror because it would just really be kind of like a statement piece, but it's out of stock. Literally everything is out of stock in here right now. I kind of really like this one as well, but this one's also out of stock. furniture store it was like really random and we had no idea like what kind of furniture they had in here and below and behold they have like antique like not even antique it's like 22,000 royal royal furniture it's like really like like look like, like elizabeth like the elizabeth era yeah or, the, or the elizabethian what's it called Do you know what it's like it's like the um when they used to wear those like really cur curlers in their hair like that like era the Eliz like What's her name? Like, this is history. Queen Elizabeth. No. 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 <laughs> uh, what's, no like, I never I'm paid attention in history I'm class. Elizabethan. I'm, I'm butchering it right now. I'm gonna yeah. Look. But, like, the jewelry, all their furniture is like this, and it smells like my grandma's house. Um, but, like, look. Like, one of these, like, tables is, like, $22,000. It's crazy. Oh, it is the Elizabeth. This is right. The Elizabethan area. Oh, my God. Yes. That is literally <laughs> what this place is. That is that. The Elizabethan area. Yeah, I was, I was we're right. in the Elizabethan. This store should be called the Elizabethan because <laughs> yeah. it's called Suzy's. I'm like, oh, it's right next to Moe's. I just hop in, and below and behold, it's like really expensive shit and like royal, like royal. That's the world. So we found a Ottoman slash coffee table, and we're gonna see how this looks. If it doesn't look good, we can always return it. But basically, what my vision is is I can put a tray on here and then use it as a coffee table, and then. It's nice to have an ottoman for the section that doesn't have the L to put your feet on. So I hope this looks good. It also has storage, like it lifts up. I'll show you guys later. And then I also got this throw for the couch. So excited about it. Just put 
put a like black like that color tray on this and it'll be perfect because yeah. it has the legs that are black. I, I like how it's like an ottoman. I really like that. I like see, the vibe. See, this I is do. exactly what yeah. I mean. Yeah. It's something narrow because the waist so here, weird. it's like, you know. Well, I think the mirror will really tie this space together too. We're yeah. missing the mirror. And um, yeah, once we get the lamp, that'll tie it in as well. So, and also what I was thinking of doing when we have the tray here, I want to put like a cute like flower vase to bring color. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? That'll bring some color. Uh, oh my God, I love it so <gasps> much. White, I know you have stain remover protection on this, but you do not have this, so just be careful. Yeah. There's also storage in here, which is nice because we can put the blankets, mm -hmm. so that's super nice. And then I'm just gonna put a tray here so we can use it as a like coffee a black, table. Yeah. The one thing I noticed about moving out is dinners are not as easy as I thought that they would be, from grocery shopping to thinking of the dinner idea to actually executing it is a lot more work than you would think, especially if you have a busy schedule. So that's why I would love to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. You guys, I genuinely am obsessed with them. HelloFresh delivers fresh quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week. So there's no grocery shopping involved for you. You don't have to meal plan. It's all there proportioned for you. And they also have a lot of great summer flavors that you can make right from home. So HelloFresh has foolproof step by step recipes which in turn lead to a joyful cooking experience and a stress-free summer plus hellofresh cuts back on time spent in the kitchen with meals ready in around 30 minutes or less and i'm not even kidding you when i was shocked at the amount of time it took me to cook dinner it took me like half the amount of time it would regularly using hellofresh so hellofresh offers veggie pescatarian and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals they do have a lot of variety and a lot of things that i would never even think of making myself to be honest so hellofresh recipes includes pre-proportioned ingredients which means less prep time and less wasted food because i honestly feel like the big biggest part of cooking is the prepping for me and that takes the most amount of time so with them there's no prepping involved it pretty much does it all for you and hellofresh cuts down on your food waste by at least 25 percent compared to grocery shopping and that's also one of the things that i've struggled with while moving out i always overbuy, then i end up wasting food so by getting hellofresh you know that you're not wasting and you have the perfect amount of ingredients so if you guys want to shop hellofresh you can go to hellofresh dot com and use code bento 16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts so that's hellofresh.com with code bento 16 and you can get up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts that we wanted finally came back in stock because if you didn't know the first mirror that we bought was the ikea hobbit mirror and it was actually against this wall and it ended up falling and breaking <laughs> unfortunately so i saw this one at ikea and it's actually a new mirror this is what it's called and it's perfect i really love the shade of gold that it is it's kind of like a brassy gold and i actually like it better than the original plain hover mirror that we got because this is kind of like a statement piece you'll see when it's all put together but i'm in love with it and i can't wait to see it up on this wall because this is just like the finishing touch to the living room but yeah i'm so happy it came back in stock this morning so that's why me and joel ran to ikea because they only had like 11 in stock and it was sold out when i wanted to buy it at first and so yeah when it came back in stock i got the text this morning and me and joel just went right away to make sure that we got it so yeah joel's gonna build it right now We also need space to go by here. Yeah. So I think it has to be more this way, right? And if it covers the light switch, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Let me just see. It's kind of too much to the left. Yeah. 
Let's just put it in the middle. We can squeeze by. Okay. What about that? I think we put it a little bit more to the right. Okay, keep it there. Yeah, I think this is the best here. Yeah, that looks good. So we had to come to Home Depot. We're here right now because we need like something to secure the mirror with because we're not going to lean it up against the wall because you all know how that turned out last time. So we just came here because we're just going to see if we can put like some sort of command hook on the wall and see if we can bolt it up that way so we don't need to drill holes in the wall. But we don't know exactly what we're going to do yet so we just kind of got to see what they have. But yeah, I want to get the mirror up today because it's kind of hard to make an outfit when you don't have like a full length mirror, so. So we ended up getting this like command hook thingy that's supposed to hold over 45 pounds and then with these zip ties so we're gonna try to make a little concoction on how we're gonna put this thing on the wall yeah we're just kind of winging it but as long as it doesn't fall we're good you know it's just for extra measure because it's gonna be up against the floor anyway so just for extra measure so here is the final mirror product i'm actually in love with it at first we had just like a really plain mirror but i really like how this one it spices the wall up you know it's kind of like a brassy gold color and i love it because this is all like plain and white and then over here we got some like a, it's kind of like a statement piece you know what i mean but yeah so me and joel kind of um winged it putting it up we have it like attached against the wall in the back i'll show you guys in a sec but i really like how it's like rounded at the top and i don't know this is kind of the mirror that i was envisioning after the other one broke because I just really like how it's different and it adds decoration to the room, you know? I really actually like it. Yeah, I'm very, very, very happy with it. And it's nice to have a mirror here again. So here's what we did in the back of it. Um, I don't know if you can see. There you go. We put like a little hook and that is like a command hook. It just makes tiny, tiny holes in the wall and that holds up to 45 pounds. And then we attached it to the mirror with um zip ties so that if it does decide to fall then the hook will catch it so it's not like leaned up against the hook it's actually leaned up against the wall but if it decides to fall then the hook will catch it if that makes sense so yeah hopefully no more broken mirrors in the near future but yeah now i can vlog in the mirror again this is actually very exciting for me because i haven't been able to vlog in the mirror since it broke i feel like it broke like a month ago but anyways that's the mirror okay so now is time for the awaited couch story i don't know if this is very awaited but i have talked about it in the vlogs a lot we were looking for a couch and my dream was to have this exact couch like i really wanted a cloud couch dupe the original cloud couch is like twenty thousand dollars so i was like okay there's no way i'm gonna spend twenty thousand dollars on a couch right now um this is my first apartment and that is just so unnecessary so i was just scrolling on pinterest one day and this couch was actually in a pinterest photo so i clicked on the couch and that's how i found this couch so i was so happy when i found it because it was a reasonable price this couch is 2500 dollars canadian so us would be even less i'm not sure if you can buy it in the states but it is in the furniture stores here in canada at least in the lower mainland here in vancouver i'm not sure if you can get it anywhere else in canada so i have no idea but anyway so after i saw it on pinterest i was like oh my gosh joe we have to go see this so we went to go see it in person and i loved it and i asked the salesman and i was like okay when is this couch gonna come in and he told me it would come in mid to end of march which is when we moved in we moved in at the beginning of march so we're like you know what if we have to wait a few weeks two weeks to even a month was pushing it but we're like okay we can wait to get the couch like it's not that long of a wait time it's fine so we ordered the couch and come end of march i haven't heard anything about it and i call them and i was like hey like where's my couch like i was told it was going to be be coming mid-march to end of march they're like oh it's coming end of april like there's no there's been no updates it's always been end of april and i was like end of april like the salesman told me it was going to be mid to end of march and he's like no it's always been 
like end of April and I was like what the heck that's a little sketchy that was really disappointing because obviously we were sitting on an air mattress in the living room for a long time so then come end of April I had to call them again and I was like where's the couch and they were like oh it got delayed so we had to wait another month then it finally came so overall we had to wait three months for this couch and on the phone when I was talking to them they were like don't worry we're gonna give you compensation back for this like don't even worry like we'll give you money off we'll give you a good discount and that's what I was told by the specific salesman and I was like okay like that makes up for it at least you know what I mean like I was told that it was gonna come at a certain time three months later like I'm without a couch so at least I was getting a discount in my head right it was just kind of sketchy because I think the salesman lied to me of when the couch was gonna come so he can make the sale because obviously they earn commission and it was, that's just like kind of disappointing because I just wish I knew how long it was going to take. So then they finally called me saying that it was in and I got invoiced. And the invoice was for the full amount of the couch. There was no discount on it. So I was like, what the heck? So me and Joel ended up driving to the furniture store to go in person to pay so I can talk to them. Because you could pay online or in person. So I went into the furniture store and I was like... Can I please speak to somebody because I was told I was going to get a discount. Then somebody comes and he looks at the invoice and he's like, give them 50 bucks off. And I was like, $50? Is that even 1% of $2,500? And then we talked to this other salesman and that salesman told us that the salesman who told me on the phone I would get the discount, it no longer works there anymore, so they can't give me that discount. And I was just really, really frustrated because I was promised that discount and they couldn't honor it for me. They told me they can give me $50 off or a $150 store credit that I couldn't use for this couch. They're like, you can use it the next time you buy furniture from here. It's like, I'm not going to come back after what my experience was with you guys. I was like, can't I just take the $150 and use it towards the couch? And they said no. So it's like, that didn't even make any sense to me. And it was just really disappointing how I think I got lied to at the beginning and then they weren't very nice to us to be honest they did not want to honor that discount that i was promised as a company i feel like you want to make your customers happy so even just giving us like a 10 percent discount off or even five percent like what is fifty dollars i don't even know what that is off of a 2500 hundred dollar purchase there's nothing that we can do at the end of the day i had already put the deposit down on the couch and we had already waited so long so we weren't going to back out then so that's my couch story and why i was so frustrated about it but I do really, really love this couch and I do, I did buy the stain protection for it. So I'm covered up to five years. So if there's like a rip, tear, stain or whatever, they will come to fix it. But yeah, so that's the couch story. And I do really love the couch. Like it's, it's actually the comfiest couch I've ever sat on in my life. Like I love it to death and it fits this space so perfectly. I couldn't be happier with it, but it just sucked how that all went down with them. I will leave the link to the couch down below just because I'm not going to be petty like that. But yeah, anyways, that's what happened with the couch. Okay, so this is the finished product of our living room. It honestly came together so nice. The only thing that I want to do is put a tray here. And I haven't been able to find the right one yet, but I will definitely include it in a vlog to come but yeah that's like the last thing i want to do find a tray for here and then like decorate it with like some candles or something so that will be for another vlog but in terms of having the base done everything is done the mirror is just so beautiful i'm obsessed with it and i just feel like it really ties everything together but yeah i'm so happy and the couch is just beautiful and it just fits the space better than we expected so mm.